Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and grab Earth and we are going to see what would happen if you were to drive on the surface of Earth at the speed of light. Wow, my hair is dead. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and plop Earth down and what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to grab a car. And the only car in this game at the moment is the Tesla Roadster, but a fine choice indeed. So I'm not complaining. I would I would not mind a Tesla Roadster. At Elon Musk, please. Please. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this Tesla Roadster and put it right on top of Earth. Like, we gotta, gotta set this up perfect. So we want this Tesla Roadster to just drive on Earth. We don't want it to smack Earth and destroy literally everything. But because the Tesla Roadster is flat, it needs to go on the North Pole in order to not slam into it. Uh, one other thing, we're just going to quickly go to View, uh, Settings, and we're going to switch the lighting to flashlight so we can see more easily. Beautiful. Okay, back and edit. How do we get this perfectly on the surface? Well, we have to try to find the lightest point, which is going to be the North Pole. And now we're going to drop our Tesla Roadster down onto it. Fantastic. We, again, don't want it to crash into the surface. We want it to just drive over the surface. There's a certain distance at which Universe Sandbox 2 will consider it colliding, even if it's not. So we're going to be a little bit careful and not get it too, too close. Uh, here we go. Actually, is that... So, like, this is within the clipping pane. We don't we don't want to go too crazy, but we, we can go a bit lower. Um, so here's the deal. When the Tesla Roadster is moving at the speed of light, you may be saying, well, gravity is going to affect it. Uh, but it's going to be moving so quickly, gravity isn't really going to have enough time to affect it. So we're going to be moving sideways uh, in the direction of the Roadster so that it looks cool. So we're going to be moving this way. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. And we're just going to go through the atmosphere, drive on the North Pole, and then exit the atmosphere is the plan. Um, the gravity shouldn't pull it into Earth because it's going to be moving so quickly that gravity won't have enough time. <laughs> it won't have enough time to act on it um, and really throw it off course, but we'll see what happens. Um, so let's go ahead to motion and we're going to go to the speed and we're going to set the speed of light. Fantastic. And let's figure out what direction that's going in. Hopefully it's going in the direction I want. Oh, it's going in the opposite direction. But we can just do negative. Bam, now it's going in the correct direction. And now things get fun. We can go ahead, slow down time a ridiculous amount because this is moving at the speed of light. It's gonna be moving pretty darn quickly. Actually the fastest. Can't really get much faster than that. Um, at all <laughs> and let's go ahead slow it down to the point where we're at like uh, One millisecond per second Okay, here we go. So we're even at one millisecond per second We've got some serious speed going on and again a uh, 9.8 meters per second squared gravity, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of an effect but not enough to pull it onto Earth's surface. It's just moving too quickly uh, horizontally. Even at this point, only about like a tenth of a second has went by, maybe two tenths, maybe half a second by now. Um, but again, that's, that's still not enough time to majorly impact it. And this Tesla Roadster is moving at the speed of light. It's about to enter the atmosphere. Um, the amount of energy on this Tesla Roadster is kind of insane. It's it's going to impact with quite a bit of force through the atmosphere and hopefully, hopefully the gravity doesn't throw it off too much and we just go th over the surface. Now we can make tweaks if it gets pulled down a little bit, but it looks like we're just going to, ooh, it looks like we are going to impact maybe. 
Okay, we, we, we've got to be a little bit more careful here now. Um, we're going to slow things down even further. Okay, so we are currently in the air. We have entered the atmosphere, and the Earth is curving upwards towards us, and we're getting very close. Oh! Oh, Earth ate it. Earth has eaten it. Yikes. Oh, and we lined it up so perfectly and everything. But has it had any effect on Earth? I'm not sure, actually, and we're going to find out, I guess, as I turn the speed back up. Is there a mark where it impacted? Is there going to be a crater? Did the Earth just eat it and not care? I mean, there is a car somewhere stuck miles deep in the snow that's plunged all the way into the North Pole. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so we may have done that a little bit too high up. That's unfortunate. Okay, so the, the question has been answered. Not, not much happens at all. I was expecting more, especially moving at the speed of light. What if you drove into Earth at the speed of life? Like, uh, not speed of life, speed of light. Um, so what if we do the same thing, but we get this Tesla Roadster and we have it go directly into Earth? And let's say that we've got a magical Tesla Roadster and we're going to do a hundred times the speed of light for extra dramatic effect. Now the Tesla Roadster is pretty, pretty tiny in comparison to Earth, so I, I don't really know uh, what's going to happen here. It may just completely ignore the collision because there's a point where the collision engine just doesn't care um we may see a tiny imp oh my do a few fragments came out uh whoops i didn't mean for that i certainly did not mean for that okay let's try that again slow motion at this time whoopsies Okay, take two. Take two interactive. Honestly, I should have the time step set up so that on collision, it pauses. There we go. So I don't make these mistakes anymore. Let's go to light speed 100. If you don't have the game time step slowed down, it'll just skip the explosion because it was so small. So we have to have that time step really low to see what's going on. Wow, really, really low. I guess we are going 100 times the speed of light. There we go. It looks like Japan is not going to have a good day. Um, oh god, memories. <laughs> this is a little bit worse than an atom bomb, though. This is a car moving at 100, 100 times the speed of light. This is going to do a, a little bit of damage. Oh, well, it's, it's going to hit off of the coast, actually. So maybe the damage won't be that bad. Um... I can't even see the amount of time. It's so slow right now we're going. It's kind of insane. And the Tesla Roadster is about to impact on these little islands over here. And it's hit. Is there any noticeable effect? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we have any noticeable effect whatsoever. <laughs> Once again, disappointing. Unless you do the Squidward approach and literally drive a boulder into the earth, it looks like you're not really gonna have much of an effect, even when we use insanely small amounts of matter. However, there's a question I have, which is that Universe Sandbox 2 actually tends to treat objects differently than, like, asteroids and stuff. So, let me quickly find the average, uh, the weight of Tesla Roadster. 2877. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I can literally look at what the game has for it. So, the Tesla Roadster is... Uh, what do we have for mass? We've got 1305 kilograms. Let's delete it and let's add a asteroid. Set this to 1508 kilograms. Fantastic. 
and paint it red <laughs> and call it a Tesla Roadster, nobody will notice the difference. Not even Elon. It's going to be great. Fantastic. Let's get rid of the water. Make it all out of iron. There we go. Great. Probably need some aluminum and lithium ion batteries in there, but close enough. Let's go ahead and name it Tesla Roadster Mash. Because it's been kind of mashed into a ball. Let's save it in case I ever want to use it again in the future. It's already headed in the correct direction, so let's go ahead and set its speed to 100 times the speed of light. And let's see if this acts any differently, because the physics do act a little bit differently on the objects that are set as astronomical objects rather than like human scale. I don't know why, it really shouldn't, but it does. Or maybe that's fixed. I, I guess we'll see in a second. Slow things down a ridiculous amount. Here we go. Here we go. About to hit China. That's not going to feel too good. Or is that more of Tibet? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, oh shoot. Slow things down even more. Trying to get it correct. Wow. This is a very, very, very small object. And it's going to collide spectacularly. Is it going to do more damage? That's the question. Like, this may be too fast. The game may not really simulate this speed. Okay, let's see what happens. We're about to impact the surface. Any second now? Oh, we hit. Oh, we cleared some snow off. We actually cleared some snow out. That's interesting. That's quite a large area, too, that we heated up. Let's see if we can see it on the surface map. We actually can. Um... This little point right here. What's the temperature at? 378 degrees in that area. So we actually, a large section of land on Earth has been completely vaporized. Is it a brilliant, massive amount of vaporization and destruction? No, it's, it's quite disappointing, really. Um, but when you're working, oh, oh, it's spreading. Look at that as the heat spreads over the surface. Ooh. How far will it spread? That's quite a bit of damage, actually. Wow, that is, that is going quite far. Um. Wow, that actually did quite a bit. I mean, it's just one car, but it's moving at the speed of light. Um, hmm. I mean, no, this was not the most exciting, I'll be honest. But the test was run, and that's what happens if you threw a car 100 times the speed of light. There's only so much the game will simulate, and unfortunately... Before, I used to be able to get good results by, like, firing a grain of sand at Earth super fast, but I'm not really getting that anymore. Um, I'll see if I can get something like that working again in the future, but thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Please don't drive cars 100 times the speed of light. I'm sure that violates some interdimensional laws, not only the laws of physics and probably your local laws and national laws. It's probably even considered, like, dangerous to probably all of humanity because the speed at which you're moving would I mean the amount of force you would exert accelerating on the ground would probably rotate the earth a little bit it, it would be nasty so just don't try it don't try it at home kids peace out and goodbye